your examples of the Democrats doesn't ring a bell to me. So tens of millions of dollars investigating Trump Russia collusion that doesn't ring a bell. What about uh, Joe Biden saying that the 2016 election wasn't legitimate? Is that election denying or no? This is bullshit. What's going on, everyone? James Klug here. A big catchphrase that Democrats have used since 2020 is election denier, but the reality is Democrats haven't accepted the results of an election since before the year 2000, but they seem to have memory hold this fact. So today we're going to go remind them. Let's go talk to some people. Huge shout out to our friends over at iTarget for sponsoring this video. You know, many Democrats right now are saying that uh, election deniers are on the ballot, many of which are potentially going to be elected, and Democrats are saying that is a threat to democracy. I want to know, do you agree with that? Oh, I think, I think what's going on with the Republicans is definitely a threat to democracy. And I'm an independent. A lot of Democrats are talking about um, election deniers being on the ballots, mm -hmm. many of which potentially getting elected, mm -hmm. and they're saying that that is a threat to democracy. Um, do you agree with the Democrats? Yes, yeah. totally. Do you agree with that? Yep, I certainly do. And I even think there should be a law that they can't even run, is yeah. what I think. Of Especially course I agree with that. They are election deniers, but they're running an election. Should we deny their election? I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's a threat to democracy. Uh, not really. I mean, I think democracy is fairly strong, so... Uh, you know, but everybody has an opinion, so it, they're right to their opinion. Well, let's, here's what it is. If yeah, Republicans yeah. win, they're going to deny the election. If they, they're going to not deny the election. If they lose, they're going to deny the election. I mean, that's the way it's going to be. I got a question for you then. Okay, so so we see we see Republicans as being election deniers. Um, do we also see Democrats as being election deniers? No, not so much. We're much more into into democracy. So you believe that Rep Republicans are denying elections? Yes. Do you also believe that Democrats are denying elections? No, not really. I wouldn't say all Republicans, but several Republicans, a scary amount of them. A good amount. These Republicans are being looked at as election deniers, is that correct? Correct. Um, do you also believe that Democrats can be election deniers or no? Well, anybody can. Do you believe that they are being election deniers or no? I don't. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Well, I, I think the majority of the election deniers are Republican. I don't think there are a whole lot of Democrats that I can think of off my top Well, of they my haven't. Head. They didn't have reason to, right? The current White House press secretary denying the 2016 and 18 election. I haven't paid I any know. attention couldn't, to that. I, couldn't I speak hadn't to heard that. her talking about that. Have Democrats not done the same thing in not 2016, not, 2004, 2000? Not to, not nearly to the same extent. Really? Not even close. I mean, not even close. What about Stacey always, Abrams? Is she an election denier uh, running no, for she, no, governor she, in, in well, 2018 I, in Georgia? You know what? I, I happen to admire her a lot. Um, she denied the results of that election in 2018. Did she did initially, and then she congratulated the winner. She did initially, and then now her stance, her official stance is that she didn't deny in 2018. So she's actually technically an election denier denier. She's an election, yes, that's probably a good, but you know, don't we have a right to change our minds? I, I think so. how come so. Trump didn't change his mind? Are you a Trump person? Um, I, I don't Are mind you? him as much. I don't uh, mind him that much. I um, think he's horrible. But, I think he's but, the worst president, the worst person. I don't necessarily want to seen. fixate just on him because my, my point is, you know, but Hillary Clinton. The Republican Party. Hillary Clinton denied the results of the 2018 election. Um, but not she also extent. denied the it's 2016 election. What, to what extent? extent? To the extent. She never conceded the 2016 election. Yes, yeah, she did ultimately. No, she didn't ultimately. She did and then she didn't again. Okay. I mean, we, we have ex-president Jimmy Carter that denied the 2016 election saying that it was you know basically I don't recall that I'm sorry would you like to see if I have a video of that oh, if sure. you'd like to see um, it but I'm so talking about well yeah I'm thinking about when right I here Moore lost and when um, who was it well right here he's saying that you know if you want to listen to it the, uh, no not right now but you don't want to like... and I think the interference although not yet quantified uh, if fully investigated would show that Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016 he lost the election, and he was put into office because the Russians interfered. Yeah. The, uh, the Russians helped Trump win. It was uh, not a legitimate election. Um, so that's what Jimmy Carter said. That's just one Democrat. Sure. Is that an election denier? That would be an election denier because, yeah, I think there's times when there's foreign interference. That's a problem. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this, uh, our current White House press secretary said that the uh, 2018 election was stolen from Stacey Abrams. She was doing the gubernatorial race in Georgia. Is that an election denier or no? 
I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I didn't follow that one as close. I mean, I know who Stacey a Abrams is, and I would have liked to have seen her. This is a tweet from Corrine Jean-Pierre. That's the uh, current White House press secretary. This says, stolen emails, stolen drones, stolen election. Welcome to the world of uh, President Trump, um, unprecedented pres Trump. Um, that was uh, her denying the 2016 election. And then for 2018, we have a, her, a tweet from her. Reminder, Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. Does that look like an election denier? Yes. All right, you guys, let's take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor. If there was ever a story that best encapsulates how bad crime has become, it's the one about Starbucks providing their baristas with active shooter training because our cities really aren't safe anymore. And while the Supreme Court has made it easier for you to conceal carry for protection, it's your responsibility to be properly trained. That is why I endorse iTarget Pro. I actually use and love this product. This system allows you to dry fire practice with your actual firearm anytime in the safety and privacy of your own home. No more inconvenient trips to the range and you will save a ton on practice ammo. Just download iTarget's proprietary app, load the laser bullet into your firearm and start training. Improve muscle memory, reaction speed, side alignment, trigger control, and much more. iTarget Pro comes in all major calibers, including 223, so you can stay sharp with almost any firearm. Save 10% plus get free shipping with the off code clue when you go to itargetpro.com right now. This is the smartest investment in your ability to safely and effectively handle your firearm, plus it'll pay for itself in one day. That's the letter I, targetpro.com, itargetpro.com, offer code Klug. Take advantage of that. Let's get back to the video. So well, far, I mean, for the, if you you know watch the news and everything, it's mostly been the yeah, Republicans, Republicans doing it. Well, it started Stacey the Abrams Warren. in 2018. Okay, no, there's that one example maybe, yeah, but across exactly. the board, there's but more on why. the Republican side. You have to understand why that. she uh, did it. Well, really quick, really quick. Yeah. Uh, 2016. Yeah. Democrats, you know, Trump Russia collusion. That was four years. All we heard was Trump yeah. Russia collusion. Yeah, that was yeah. the news media there. Too. Joe Biden no. said that. Well, Joe Biden said that uh, Trump is an illegitimate president. Hillary Clinton, Corrine, that the current White House press secretary said that 2016 election was uh, illegitimate so, and 2018. So are Democrats doing it as well? No. Are those election deniers? No. When Trump won, um, oh, they conceded. Nobody said Trump who conceded. Cannot well, but Trump won the presidency, not that conceded, but... Hillary the, Clinton didn't concede no, that election. No, 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 no. Hillary, no, 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 no. She did. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, she did. She came out. She conceded very, very eloquently. She conceded. And, but they said, Russia, they didn't say that it was, uh, they were not election deniers. They said that Russia, China, with China is now, again, is doing it. When, did you see when, that? When did she concede it? All right, let me show you. So 2019, Clinton dismissed Trump as an illegitimate president. Yes, 2019, she, was, uh, well, she also said she 2016 very, was no, no, no. stolen. No, no, the so 2016 was... Uh, she did concede, correct? Conce she did concede. Conceding isn't yeah. going back on conceding. No, 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 no. What about Stacey Abrams running for governor? Denied 2018? Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton said it was, it was an unfair election as well. Hillary? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, just I'm just giving you guys a couple examples. The reason why I'm bringing this stuff up is because are both parties denying elections when people lose or no? I think the majority of people that are no, denying there. elections are on the Republican side. Of Currently. Could, I mean, I don't know. On the well, ultra-conservative well, side of Republicans. Do you think that that was expressed in 2016 with basically every single major Democrat denying that election result? I don't recall. No. Yeah, yeah I don't really remember it. Be, I don't remember it being as prevalent in the news as it is now. Okay. Would you guys like to see an example of like, you know, Jimmy Carter denying that election result, saying it was stolen by the Russians working with Trump? Would I like to see that? Yeah. No. no. You don't want to see that? No. <laughs> Didn't make big news about that, I don't think. Is that a problem with the media? Yes. Possibly. I, I didn't know about a lot of denied elections before that. Trump, Russia collusion. There was tens of millions of dollars investigating him. Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton didn't concede that election. Uh, people say that she did. She did once, but then she uh, went back to You're not right. conceding it. You're right. uh, Joe Biden also said it was stolen. Uh, a lot of top Democrats, including Jimmy Carter. If you guys would like to, I would love to, if you have like 10 seconds, I could show you a video of Jimmy Carter saying the election was stolen from Hillary Clinton, ex-president saying that. No, I believe That's pretty substantial. Were, That's were, pretty substantial. There were those comments. Yeah. What about uh, Joe Biden saying that the 2016 election wasn't legitimate? Is that election denying or no? This is bullshit.
What is? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Right on. All I can say is, if the Republicans lose, they're going to deny it. Period. Would Period. Democrats not do the same thing? Because no. You don't think so? No. Most of them will not. There will be a few, probably. Of course. I mean, you know, there, there are some people that probably will be stupid and do that. And there are still people in the Republican Party that are whining about, oh my God, you didn't, the, the Democrats didn't win. Now that to me is just stupid. The last, stupid, stupid, the stupid. The last three elections that a Republican won the presidency, Democrats challenged the uh, electoral vote every doesn't? single time. And who doesn't? And what Republicans didn't Would check Would you the call election? that a denying election if no. you're challenging the results? No, absolutely not. Uh, deniers, an election, denying election has been a, a topic I've been after 2020 and Trump. Before that, I've never heard, and no, no, no. I've never Has heard been. this being, no, no, because I'm not done. I've never heard this being a problem. So I have 150 plus examples of Democrats denying election results right here. Would you like to look at some of them? No. I mean, you mentioned that it's largely happening on the right. Every single major Democrat has denied the 2016, 2018, pretty much election in recent history. I, I just don't think it was covered that much, but I can give you countless examples if you'd like. Just based on the fact that I, uh, your examples of the Democrats doesn't ring a bell to me. So Tens of millions of dollars investigating Trump-Russia collusion, that doesn't ring a bell? Well, yes, that does, but it just, it, it hasn't, doesn't seem to, it didn't seem to be as prevalent as what we're hearing That's now. That's pretty substantial. Yeah, I, I hear you. It was, it was. We just, I just hadn't thought about it in a long time. Fair enough. Well, who did it start with? With Trump. And if you're a Trump supporter, I don't talk to Trump supporters. I'm sorry. Democrats denied uh, the 2000 yeah. election, the 2004 no, election, no, the 2016 election, problem, the 2018 election. We never had a problem that we have right now after 2020. What's we the, what's never the had a problem. What is the problem right what you, now? Yeah, just to clarify what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know the problem, why are you Why don't you tell me the problem that? instead of me reading your mind? What are you talking about? You're just saying election, the election denying in general? Deniers, and everybody that's saying it, we, okay, after 2016, the talk was that Russia meddled in our election. And that's what the investigation that Russia made. And they found, to 12, mo they found mo literally mo nothing. You're, you're denying the, the legitimacy of the election in 2016 not, right now. I've never said that. I've said they have you're getting been pretty close. investigation. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't like Trump. I just see it as like if you're if we're going to deny our elections, that's a, that's a major problem for right. democracy. That would I, I think it's fascinating that that we see more of Republicans doing it because I definitely it's there's no denying that Republicans do it. Um, there's definitely a difference between the reporting on it. I would say. Yeah, right. I, I would, would you agree, agree with that or do you disagree with that? Yeah, especially more recently. Yeah, more recently. yeah I think it's way way more has been made of the of the twenty what the twenty twenty presidential election. Yeah, I would say that's yeah by by a long ways. Yeah. Do you do you guys blame Republicans for that? You blame the media for highlighting that more? I don't do you, know. I I think it's I I think we said media. I did. You know, I hate to think that anybody is denying the elections, but it's obvious that they are. Are both sides doing it? I don't know. You know, they say one thing, you know, do something else. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. So you don't, you don't know that both sides are denying elections, or you do I, think so? I do not believe they both sides are. I have over 150 examples of Democrats denying election results. Would you like to look at that or no? No. If the, as I said, here's the big thing. If the Republicans win, they're going to say, oh, everything is fine and it was a fair election. If the Republicans lose, they're going to say, oh, no, it was not a fair election. And all these people were voting that, weren't, that you know, shouldn't have voted. And, and we really won. Mark my words. Tuesday. What about the Tuesday current the White House press secretary? She denied the, two, denied the 2016 and the 2018 election. Would you like to see the tweets of her denying those well, uh, then she elections? Have, then, uh, then I disagree with that. I think we have an election process, including um, being able to, to challenge what you've got. But once it's challenged, and once it's been settled, especially in the courts, it's done. It's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. And the Republicans aren't going to do that. So if you're a Republican, I, I I'm also, sorry. I also have 150 plus examples of Democrats denying election results. Would you like to see those, any I'm of those? Sure, you know what? I'm sure some of them did. And I'm sure eventually some of them did. And some of them probably... My point is it's happening every single election. But not to the extent that the Republicans are doing it. They're terrible people for the most what part. Is, what is your measurement for saying that, though? We're talking about the last three elections that Republicans won the presidential elections. Democrats denied every January single election. sixth. So we're talking about a, a, a riot now. So if we're changing the subject and talking about rioting, are we conceding that Democrats are uh, denying election results? 
No, of course not. Well, then let's go back to that conversation before we move on to rioting. I'm not going to. I'm not going to agree with you. You can be for Trump all you want of Republicans, but I'm not going to agree with you. That's not the point I'm trying to make yes, here. It is. No, I'm, tr I'm trying to. I'm trying to point out that Democrats are denying election results as well. Not to the. Not to the degree, and not to the extent of the Republicans. You're right. Probably more. No, the Democrats are like over here, and the Republicans. I mean, you're talking to somebody that was a Republican for most of her life, but once Trump, and once that whole group. Um, that were so awful, that were so anti-democracy came in. I don't, I mean, it would so take me a So you're just talking about one election. I'm talking about Democrats denying 2018, 2016, 2004, 2000. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. The current White House press secretary uh, denied the election results of 2016 and 2018. No, you're just making things up. Here's a tweet you from her right know. here. Okay. Reminder. You, you also said Hillary can I, never can I finish? conceded. Can I finish, please? But that wasn't true, was it? You also said Hillary never conceded. So there you go. If you want to make up... She went stuff, back on her no, conceding the election. Stopped. Can I, can I no, finish, no, no, please? No. Right now, people can I finish? are being... No, 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 no. Because, no. The reason why I'm asking this is because there's been very clear examples of denying election results for 2018, 2016, 2004, 2000, with, uh, I'm sure you remember, uh, what's his face? Al Gore. <laughs> I'm old enough. <laughs> you remember that guy? <laughs> I do. So that's why I'm having this conversation, though, is because it seems as though, you know, a lot of people talk about Republicans denying elections, but it seems as though Democrats have a long history of denying election results as well. You know what? Um... Some people say the sky is blue, and some people say the sky is green. What color do you think it is? I think it's blue. I do too. And so, it, you know, some people are going to die, and some people are going to confirm uh, to each his own. My, my follow-up question to that is, is it okay to uh, question elections and deny elections for both sides? Is it okay? It's okay. It's okay? Should we strive you know to make the electoral process as objective and clear as possible so that doesn't need to be a thing? It's always going to be a thing, regardless of what's going on, because people have opinions and they differ in opinions. Uh, you can simplify the process to make it less questionable. Well, of course. Like voter ID laws. Sure. Do you agree with voter ID laws? I think so. I have a tweet from the current White House press secretary right here. Yes. Reminder, you know Brian what? Kemp you know stole the gubernatorial yes. election yes. from Georgians yes. and Stacey Abrams. Yes. Yes. Is that conceding and, an election? Okay. And do you is know she an election she's, denier? Do you know why she's saying that? Do you yes, know she, why she's saying she's that? She's denying an election. Okay. He had election machines in warehouses, never came out to where the black people were, so they had to stand in lines for how many hours to go vote? Everyone has that to stand in line to go truth. vote. That's why Stacey Abram never conceded, so, because he was in right. charge so of the election. With, with, with the press secretary of, of with, saying it was an illegitimate as, election, as is that correct? As you're you're Abram, denying election results. As, no, as far as Stacey because we have the proof. You're saying it's an illegitimate we, election we right now to me. Is it wrong for either side to be questioning elections, yes or no? Questioning? Yeah, in your opinion. I think it's 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 not wrong for people to ensure that we're, we're watching our elections closely so that they are true elections. But I think to get all worked up with not a lot of proof of something going wrong, I think that's I think that's bad. The only way I think people are going to trust is if they have more information. But the question is, if even if Where you provide the information, are they going to trust it? Right. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. that's the problem. Right. Is that they don't necessarily trust what they're told unless it's somebody who thinks like them. Right. Do you guys agree with the de Democrats or no? No, we are anti-democrats, sorry. Do you agree with them that that's a threat to democracy, or do you agree with their, their rhetoric at all, at all? It's it's just rhetoric, it's just politics, and it's like, you know, the flavor of the election period. You know, it's like some issue that they want to use to divide and persuade. Yeah. Do you think that's a threat to democracy, or people can think what they want? Yeah, I think they can think what they want. I don't think it's a threat. No. Why do you think they're saying that? Try to get elected. They're trying to scare people. Do you agree with that, or, or no? I've spent 33 years in prison, and I think that they're, that we're too soft on crime. I like Republicans. That's the only thing I got to say. We, we do not support the Democrats at all. Why is that? Especially in the last few years, because it's total wokeness and it's uh, damaging economy and, and creates all kinds of other social problems here. So, no, we are yeah, we, we strongly came, against we that. We came from Poland, so we know what it means, socialism. Yeah, we grew up in you know a socialist so system, we, so we, we, we know, know what exactly that is. exactly what it's going on. So you know the, the direction that it goes in. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. It, it never worked so in any country before, so this, with this fallacy to think that it might work here. 
it just has not proven itself anywhere in the world in the past. I don't we know, escaped from that country in Poland, so from Poland, so we know. I mean, I can I cannot. Uh, I see that people are just sleeping. They don't see really big big problem what it's coming on. So you guys are voting more, you guys are going Republican down the ticket. Yes, right, yeah, correct, right, correct. All right, guys, that is it for today. So people have pretty much memory hold everything that Democrats have literally ever done. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it, I don't even know, was it entertaining, helpful, whatever, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next time I post. I'll see you guys next time. We've never had the violence we've had right now that the GOP started. We've never had the January 6th. We've never had what the Proud Boys and the, the, all the other far-right groups started. We've never, never had that. political in, violence like no, that? No, 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 no. Uh, Antifa rioting Antifa during the entire a, summer Antifa of 2020? Antifa is not a group. It's an idea. That's if fine. you do, yeah. That's Antifa fine. This idea group, caused billions of dollars of damages during the summer no, of 2020? No, 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 no. And, uh-huh. Over, and over tw proven, minimum 25 no, no, people no, no, died? No, 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 It was proven that it was not Antifa who was doing the damage. It was the far right. It was proven that they had the people. <laughs> the far right yes, rioted and, during 2020? Yeah, no. There, it so? wasn't a riot. It was demonstration. And they were going, right. they captured, Mostly peaceful protests. No captured the people, the far right people who were going with hammers and breaking windows and stores because they wanted to t say Antifa. Antifa had never, they're hippies. They've never been violent. Antifa, right. is, the idea is not a violent idea. You know that. You guys say anything yeah. to prove you, but when you know you guys are wrong, but everything comes from, the violence right. comes from far right. You're spreading conspiracy theories and not letting me right. talk. Why? Because cause what do you guys... I've heard you guys talk. You're not being reasonable. You're not being giving the correct information. I'm done. <laughs> she, she's... <fl> <laughs> you know, you got the wrong person to talk to. It's okay. Hey, you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the summer of 2020 was right-wingers. <laughs> Bro.